Welcome back to another installment of Nightmares and News. I'm your host, Bumps in the Night, and here's the news. Action horror mystery game Let Me Out launching August 8th. If you're keen to check out some indie horror gaming next week, indie developers for Happy Studios with publisher PID Games might have something for you in the demon exercising action title Let Me Out, which arrives on Steam on August 8th. Set in Indonesia, Let Me Out puts you in the shoes of Alvin, a 10-year-old indigo child sworn to protect your ancient village that has become home to demons. And you've got to find a way out. And to up the ante, Alvin is searching for his mother. Luckily for Alvin, he's not alone in his journey. He'll be accompanied by the spirit of his little sister, Jane, who tragically died when she was five. On the living side, Alvin has his pet spider with him. Throughout the game, you'll be uncovering secrets behind the village's curse. That also involves a bit of exercising. As such, you'll need to find ingredients to brew potions to get rid of demons populating your journey. Your companions aren't just for show. You can call, well, whistle, for Jane to help provide some clues to how to solve puzzles. You also have your pet spider, Poco, to explore your environment, reach objects, and solve puzzles. Are you looking forward to this indie horror game? It sounds kind of fun. Until Dawn movie cast Peter Stormare and more. Supermassive's hit video game Until Dawn is headed to the big screen with a horror movie adaptation from director David F. Sandberg, best known for his work on Lights Out, Animal Creation, and Shazam. And The Hollywood Reporter brings us the latest casting news this week. For starters, Peter Stormare, known for his work on The Clown and John Wick 2, will be reprising his role from the Until Dawn video game. THR notes, insiders say that in a callback to the game, Stormare is reprising his role of therapist Dr. Hill. Additionally, Mia Michelle and Belmont Kamali have signed on. Ella Rubin, Jing Young Yo, and Odessa Azion will also star in the upcoming horror film. Blair Butler wrote the original draft, and Gary Doberman is now working on the script. The film is said to be an R-rated love letter to the horror genre. Teenagers who decide to vacation for a night in a cabin on the fictional Blackwood Mountain exactly one year after the disappearance of two girls, the twin sisters of a member of their group, shortly after arriving, the gang find themselves under attack by a psychopath and must attempt to survive until sunrise. The Until Dawn movie is being made by Screen Gems and PlayStation Productions. Are you looking forward to this film adaptation? You know we sure are. Fangoria Studios teams up with Junji Ito on three live-action feature film adaptations. Last year brought news that Fangoria Studios was teaming up with the legendary horror mangeka Junji Ito on a live-action adaptation of Blood-Sucking Darkness, along with two additional live-action feature films. A new report recently from Screen Daily reveals that the mysterious projects are... It was previously teased that Blood-Sucking Darkness was set to be the first of three projects that Fangoria plans to adapt from Ito's hit vampire series, Smashed, Junji Ito's story collection. Now Pan-Asia Studio, through the Lens Entertainment, has teamed up with Fangoria Studios to produce Blood Sucking Darkness, The Mystery of the Haunted House Part 1, and The Mystery of the Haunted House Part 2. In the Junji Ito stories, Blood Sucking Darkness follows a girl with an eating disorder who vomits blood and is stalked by vampire bats, while The Mystery of the Haunted House revolves around two friends who must escape a ghostly home and its demented proprietor. What's intriguing about the news is that The Mystery of the Haunted House features a reoccurring antagonist in the Junji Ito works, Suichi Suyuji. Could this be the start of a Junji Ito live-action cinematic universe? Only time will tell. All three live adaptations are set to go into development this summer, with production targeting 2025 and 2026. Aveda Haunted Ice Cream Truck and Waffle Clone Willy this Halloween. Fans of Choo Choo Charles take note, developer Coors Games has a new title that aims to give you more of that monster vehicle gone amuck. I with, with Waffle Cone Willie. As the name implies, you're not being chased by a train this time. Rather, you're being hunted by something potentially far more scarier, an ice cream truck. Set to launch on October 28th on Steam, Waffle Cone Willie takes place in a town of Sweetwater, a once idyllic suburban neighborhood that is now gripped in terror. The ghost of an ice cream truck driver slash convicted killer known as Waffle Cone Willie has possessed an old ice cream truck is now on the prowl, and you've got to unravel the sinister secrets lurking in the shadows. In this first person survival horror title, you're on the run, hiding and utilizing stealth tactics to move from house to house to avoid the threat of Waffle Cone Willie. All while you're surviving, you've also got to solve puzzles and gather what you need to finally confront Willie and escape this nightmare. You'll need to tread carefully as the safety of each home you explore in Sweetwater is just a facade as you reveal more and more paranormal threats and activities occurring around the town. All the while, Willie is eagerly searching for you. To avoid Willie, you need to avoid its line of sight. Listen for the jingle of the truck and hide in homes or shadows to stay out of the sight of Willie. Willie's no dummy, however. He'll learn how to operate and will adjust his tactics accordingly. In Violent Nature, hits Blu-ray in time for Halloween. With a sequel on the way, you may be wondering when Shudder's POV slasher In Violent Nature will be available to own on Blu-ray. The good news? You'll have it in hand by Halloween. In Violent Nature slices into Collector's Edition Blu-ray on October 22, 2024. The Collector's Edition Blu-ray comes with a poster and three hours of bonus features, film commentaries, production and cast commentaries, 
technical commentaries, storyboard kill galleries, and much, much more. And Violent Nature is now available on digital slash VOD outlets including Amazon and Fandango at home. And you can rent the film for $6.99 or digitally purchase it for $14.99. Have you seen this film yet? If not, we highly recommend it. We haven't watched it, but we've heard great things about it. That's all the news I have for you today, my lovely fiends. Stay spooky, keep those claws sharp, and consume more souls of the living. I've been your host, Bumps in the Night, and remember that horror is a more beautiful thing. Thank you for watching, and as always, we'll scare you in the next one.